let's talk a little bit about Hartbury College, right? Yes. And it's quite phenomenal. And at, at Rugby Pass, we were, we were about to do a documentary on Hartbury for the reasons right. I'm about to talk about, because it's phenomenal the names that are coming out of Hartbury. I, and I've, I've just wrote a few down, but the headline ones, Ellis Genge, Johnny May, Ross Moriarty, who I'm friends with, Lewis Rees-Zammit, and there's a load more, and yourself. What is going on at Hartbury College, an equestrian college, that is producing <laughs> some of the best players in Europe? It's, it, it's a good question. I mean, um, I think it's just sort of the culture and the whole vibe that's, that's at Hartbury is is awesome. You know, I think people get attracted to go there because of these big names that have come out. And I think that's what's sort of continued to produce these players that, you know, I suppose young players get inspiration. You know, these players have been to Hartbury and, and, and can get along and get on board and, and do that. And I think, I think the biggest thing is, is the way they run sort of like the rugby programme alongside your education it is, is awesome. You know, I, I loved my two years at Hartbury. I thought it was a you know, one of the best times of my life. So, um, and I mean, it helps you living in sort of dorms with your mates and sleeping about whatever you want to do. But <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I mean, so I think the biggest thing is you're enjoying it as well. And I think like, obviously as a young, you know, 17, 18 year old um, kid, the, the, the biggest thing is playing your rugby is enjoying what you're doing and enjoying where you are at that time. And I think that sort of makes you relax. And the more you enjoy, you know, your life, the more you're going to go in and enjoy enjoy your rugby and you know it's just the brand of rugby they play there as well it really develops your skills um and obviously they've got a good connection down there with with, with Gloucester who who obviously a lot a lot of boys sort of um jump into their sort of academies and bit and stuff as well so you know you know it's a it's a great place to be and you know um yeah I loved every time all my time there yeah I remember when I was at Gloucester some of the stories coming out of Hartbury with some of the lads some horror stories as well but yeah, they, uh, yeah no it looked it looked class it was um yeah. maybe a few not suitable to uh to say out in public but no we can't yeah we can't share online just just <laughs> one over a beer when we can have one again but no yeah. it looked it, it looked uh it looked, yeah it looked class uh, so a couple of other things there's a lot of talk around celebrations at the minute naturally um we understand potentially the reasons why. Just give us a little bit of background as a player as why you're not allowed to celebrate. Because it, you know, it is a thing at the minute. Some people think it's ridiculous. James Haskell, who I'm mates with, said it was ridiculous. I can kind of understand why. What's been said to you as players around that? Yeah, I think the, the main thing is, like, obviously, it, it does come across as a bit, as it is a, um, a bit extreme. But, you know, I think it's just, I think it's just precaution, really. You know, this whole sort of COVID stuff and, these proximity reports of how close you're, you're being to other players. And, you know, we've seen it in the Premiership already. So I think someone got had to isolate due to a face-to-face -face sort of celebration. You know, you were in that two-metre space and and it can happen that easily. And I think, you know, the last thing people want to be doing is is sort of isolating due to a face-to-face -to -face celebration. So, I mean, if it's if it's something that we need to do, then, you know, we, we've all got to get behind it and and really buy into it and, and not let it happen because you know the last thing we want is more games to be cancelled because of isolation you know we want we want this season to keep flowing and you know fortunately enough so far at Bristol you know we've been pretty lucky lucky you know we haven't had to postpone any games and we haven't had too many cases at all so you know we're, we're in a fortunate position but you know like you said it does seem a little bit extreme but I can understand sort of the reasoning behind it and 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 why they're doing it so I suppose just down the players to get behind it and, and really support what they're trying to do. Yeah. And then last question then, what does success look like for Bristol this year? You mentioned ambition is the premiership. I know there's so many variables this year in terms of the makeup of the season, but if things were normal uh, and so they get back to normal, what, what is the realistic ambition of this club? Um, well, I think we sit down at the start of every season and sort of go through what we want our season to look like, set ourselves out some goals. And and I think um, we do it as, as a whole club, not just players, staff included. So um, it, it's good to be aligned as a club so that we're all on the same page and we know where we want to be. And, you know, our, our biggest goal was sort of last season was to be playing, obviously be, be um, playing Champions Cup rugby, which we are this year, and sort of being, being in and around that top of the premiership. And, and we weren't far off either. So... You know, again, this year we we want to be pushing towards that top of the table and and, and hopefully getting our home semi final um, in the Premiership, which which puts us in a great position, which is to to go on and, and win the Premiership this season. I think, you know, as you can tell, the sort of start this this season, you know, we won five game uh, five of our last games in Prem. That 
you know, we're, we're definitely more than capable of, of going and, and really achieving that. So I think that's a really, really achievable goal for us going into the rest of this season. And, um, you know, as long as us as a squad sort of believe that, I think that there's no reason why we can't do it.